Hello, welcome to this week's vlog. I have a very busy day today. I'm, you're probably noticing that every Saturday is a busy day for me because it's the only day that I can do everything. So I have a huge list of things to do today, like a huge list. I took a screenshot, I wrote it in my planner, of course, and then I took a screenshot of all the things I need to do today and I wrote it in like a list so that I don't forget anything because I have to do it in a certain order for it to make sense and for me to get everything done. But it is 10:18. I just filmed a skincare video for TikTok. It's funny because when you film a TikTok, you're like on a time crunch. So I feel like I have to keep talking and I can't stop, you know? So I'm feeling like that right now, even though in the vlog, I can literally just stand here in silence and cut it out and there's no time limit. But on there, it's like, you feel so rushed and like, ugh. they really need to change the way that you can edit TikToks. They need to figure that out because it's so annoying. But anyways, I just did a skincare TikTok because what was the video? I made a video. Oh, I did like my three minute makeup for the gym video and people were like, your skin is perfect. Like it's, you know, and y'all know. On here, y'all know my skin is not perfect because you've seen it. I don't know if you've seen old photos, but I did include old photos in the TikTok. But I was just um, explaining what has helped my skin and all the products I use and stuff. So I just did that. My skin is clean. I took a quick shower because I'm getting a wax at 11.30. But right now I just need to eat breakfast. And I'm honestly, like I'm hungry, but nothing appeals to me in the morning. This is my struggle every single morning. But I think I'm just going to make a small avocado toast, put one egg on it, and then put one egg on the side, which I don't usually do because I don't love eggs. But I weighed myself this morning, as you guys saw, let me multitask, and I was so sad because I haven't weighed myself in probably, I feel like it's been like two or three weeks maybe. I don't like to weigh myself often or like close together because then the changes are so small that like it's low key discouraging, you know? But. I thought I had gained more weight than what it said because I have been eating at least two times as much as I was eating before I was like actually trying to eat more, you know? So I was like, oh, it's gonna be at least this number and it wasn't, so it's kind of discouraging. But I think the issue is too, like carbs are my friend, but the thing is protein also needs to be my friend. I need to consume way more protein, but I hate protein. If it wasn't for Chick-fil-A, I could be vegetarian easily. Like I could live my whole life without meat. It's not my favorite, um, but I love like chicken nuggets and like the bad meat and stuff, but I could live without eggs and meat and stuff like that. So it's really, really hard for me to force myself to eat more protein when I don't really like protein. I need to drink my shake more, but it's also hard to finish. It's such a rich flavor, but this is the only flavor I can do with like the peanut butter chocolate banana. I don't like Luna. The disrespect. Yeah, I can't do any other flavored protein shake or to me it's disgusting. Vanilla protein powder, ugh, disgusting. So I don't really know what my plan is. I guess to try to eat more protein. So yeah, it's been quite the struggle with that. And it's weird because when I look in the mirror or take photos, I do feel like I see improvements like pretty major ones. But then when I weigh myself, it's like, bitch, what improvements? You've made no improvements. It's kind of sad. You know, it's all part of the journey. It's all part of the journey. But let me go ahead and make my breakfast and then I can head to my wax. And then when I get back from my wax is really when everything starts popping off. That's when the day really gets going. Okay, I'm back from my wax and I'm about to do my makeup and get ready for the day because I have so many things to film. I wanted to pull up my little sketch. Okay, so today I'm filming my January favorites and then I wanna film a few TikToks. I feel like I'm starting to get back into TikTok. I think with TikTok, my issue is just like what to post and you get sucked into the trends even if that's not like your thing, you know? Like I can do makeup transformations on TikTok and it's just like, eh, whatever, because that's not really like my thing. I feel like I didn't know what my thing was, but now I'm starting to kind of figure it out. And it's not so much that I have to choose like fitness or beauty or skincare or whatever. I think for me, my TikTok does well if I'm 
just being me and talking and not so much doing like the little song trends, which is actually way less stressful for me because it's so hard to try to keep up with the TikTok trends and do it in a timely fashion where the trend is not over yet and you still get it up, you know, and it looks good. It's like very stressful. <laughs> so it's taken some of the stress out knowing that for my TikTok, I can just post whatever I want and I don't have to focus on the trends and I just need to be myself. And most of the time it helps if I'm talking, kind of like my vlog, it's just, me being me and sharing things about my life regardless of whether that's all one thing like i'll talk about fitness i talk about skincare i'll talk about life and being my age and just things that are going on in my life i feel like that does well on my tiktok so it's i like it it's kind of aligning with everything you know my instagram tiktok and youtube is not just me doing one thing which i like because i don't like just one thing i like so many things but i need to do my makeup so i can film all these things today, most specifically my January favorites. So yeah, let's speed through my makeup really fast and I'm just gonna watch some YouTube. Okay, makeup is done. Now I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair and what I'm wearing. But hang on, cause I think I need to do some of these other videos before I film the January favorites. Okay, so first, Amazing Lace. I've mentioned them before on this channel for sure and on TikTok, pretty much everywhere cause I'm always wearing it excuse me they sent me more stuff you guys i can do i'll do a quick haul really quick and then i'm actually going to be making a TikTok. they didn't ask me to do anything they just are nice enough to send me stuff but they don't ask me like can you make a TikTok and a reel and like youtube all that they don't they don't ask anything of me they're just so nice to send it to me and then because they send it to me and i love it and i love to share all the things with people i tend to like make a TikTok or a reel or something so i'm gonna make a TikTok of outfits for amazing lace and then after that i did get some new gymshark too which i'll show you in just a second and then i need to take some photos in the gymshark stuff that's our next move so hold on let me zoom out because i'm like all zoomed in right now okay let me show you really quick I still have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with my hair because it is so, I haven't washed it since I got it cut, which was last Saturday. So it's been a week. She needs a wash. I'll probably wash it tomorrow, but I gotta figure out what to do with it for these videos. But Amazing Lace, oh, they even sent me more stuff this time than last time. They sent me, I think this one came with two. No, I'm tripping. Okay, they sent me this really cute little pink tank, obsessed. I, lo I just love lounge shops like this. the fucking loud cars. I love tops like this because I wear them literally with everything. 
with a casual flannel and leggings look with bike shorts. I wear them to the gym. I wear them lounging around the house. There's just so many, the, literally the only place I don't wear these are to work because they're like crop tops and stuff and I don't wear bras with them, but they're literally the best tops. They also sent, which I'm so happy about, another twisty one. So I have one twisty one in purple that I bought like when I first discovered them as a brand. So I, that the purple twisty one is the only one I've had and they sent me a blue twisty one. So cute. They sent me this cute tank. I love the color of this one. It's kind of like a nude color. They sent a one shoulder one, which I'm so excited about because I've been wanting to get one. The one shoulder is so cute, even to like the gym. They sent this one, which I haven't even seen on their site, or I guess I just wasn't looking hard enough, but how cute is this one? It's so unique. It has like these little stretchy spaghetti straps. It's like a, like a, um, I don't know what that's called. And the pattern of this one is kind of like, it's like little squares, but then also kind of little triangles. It looks really cute. It's giving me spring summer picnic and I love it. They sent this really cute bodysuit that I'm so excited because I've seen this one on their site. It's got these buttons in the front with like holes. They sent me another long sleeve lounge top. I showed y'all the other long sleeve lounge top that they sent me that I'm obsessed with. They sent it in white. I love white. I love white, nudes, black, gray, and no color. And last but not least, they sent me their new, I've been staring at this on their site, just staring at it. Like, do I pull the trigger? Do I buy this? Because I absolutely need it. Let's see if you can even see kind of like how it's supposed to look when I hold it up. It's a one shoulder bodysuit with this really cute, like twisted thing. And like this part goes over your boobs and then there's like a huge cutout. <sighs> When I saw this on one of the girls on their, I think it was on their stories when I saw it, I was like, oh, I need it, but I didn't buy it, but they sent it to me. I'm so excited. And they sent these two cute little cards, but one of them is from one of the employees there named Caitlin. And she said she had the pleasure of styling me. So Caitlin, I don't, I don't think they watch my YouTube channel, but Caitlin, if you happen to see this, you killed it. I love every single thing that you picked out for me obsessed but yeah if you guys want to see everything on i'm making a mess um go to my tiktok because by the time this goes up that tiktok should already be up and then i bought a few things from gymshark and i got a few sets because i decided i decided that for the gym the reason why i'm not vibing with my gym outfits lately is because i need some sets so i got two sets Love the color. I got this sports bra from the Whitney Simmons line and the matching bike shorts. They have so many cute details on it. There's like a little mesh thing right here. And then I got the same set in yellow. I love yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I don't usually wear it. Same short, same sports bra. So cute. I actually got this same sports bra in black, but I didn't get the shorts because I have like 107 black biker shorts. I fucking swear. Um, and I got a white sports bra that's different from these, but I wore that to the gym already. And it's a... Are we for real? Like, is this douche just driving up and down my fucking street? But let's get a move on because I'm trying to get all of this filming done, including the January favorites, before the sun goes down because I really truly need the natural lighting. So let's go. Okay, I just finished filming all the TikToks. Well, not all of them, but the ones where I had to change my clothes a lot. And I still need to do the January favorites, but I got all the little ones out of the way that kind of took a while because I kept having to change my clothes. And I meant to get some behind the scenes of like how I do the TikToks and everything, but I completely forgot because I was trying to go as fast as I could, but I can show you the aftermath. It's actually not as bad as other times that I've done this. A little messy over here, but nothing crazy. The bathroom is what's really messy because Instead of changing in here, I just changed in here every time I had to change really fast and I threw everything on the floor. So a little messy in here, but it's definitely been worse than this. So this isn't even that bad, but can we just, hold on. Can we just appreciate this Whitney Simmons set? I have no words. I have no words. I should have bought it sooner. I'm obsessed, but I'm cold. So I put these sweats on and actually, Guys, guys, I can't. Actually, I'm about to film a TikTok to answer someone's question. Someone asked what's in my gym bag because they don't really know like what to put in their gym bag. So I'm gonna film that for TikTok, but 
Oh, and someone asked that on the Q&A two videos ago, what's in my gym bag? And I said I would do it in a future vlog. So I'm kind of doing it twice right now, one for TikTok and one for the vlog. But in the vlog, I'm kind of doing a gym bag clean out because I have so much stuff in my gym bag that I've accumulated over time, stuff that I tried and don't use. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that's in my gym bag, but we're gonna do a gym bag clean out. Okay, I have my barbell pad. 100% gotta keep this in there. I don't use the barbell pad when I squat anymore. Someone did mention before that you should squat without the barbell pad because the barbell pad can, I guess, kind of mess up your form. I don't notice a difference to be honest, but I just stopped using it and lowered the bar. I think my mistake was I was always putting the bar like up high, you know? But I do use this to hip thrust. So I always keep this in my gym bag. I've got my weight belt that I actually just recently started using again because I always forget that I have it and I always forget that I should be using it especially when I'm lifting really heavy and especially because I have a bad back. I don't know who I think I am like invincible or something. I have scoliosis so I should be using this. Um, I have my ankle straps from Amazon which are linked on my Amazon shop. Um, I finally got my own because I hate when you're at a gym and someone else is using them or the gym doesn't have them at all. So I bought my own. These are the best ones I've ever used. I've used so many different ones and I used to have different ones which might be in here um but love these I got them on Amazon they're gym reapers ankle straps I have these in my gym bag which is probably weird but they are sliders so if you're ever on the grass section or turf or whatever it's called um you can do really cool exercises on this if you've ever done reformer pilates how you're on that machine and it slides and moves. You can get that same effect and do the same thing. You can do it with these. So these slide on the ground. It works on carpet too. So these are in my gym bag. I have all sorts of bands, but to be honest, I stopped using bands. Not intentionally. I didn't just say one day like, I'm not gonna use bands anymore, but I just kind of stopped using them. So I have them if needed, but I just don't use them that much anymore. Um. Okay, now we're getting into the stuff I need to get rid of. Oh, here's my old, no, that's not them. Are these them? Oh yeah, here they are. I only have one. This is my old ankle strap for cables. So if you can see like just the difference in how sturdy these ones are, this is my old one. Super thin. It's just, it's a huge difference. So I need to get rid of this. I don't even know where the other one is. And then I have a bunch of different wrist straps to lift. I've tried a bunch of different ones and I know which ones I love and which ones I don't. Um, and I have reasons for each. So I have these, which are like the wrapped kind. So here, I'll show you. So the reason why people wear these is to take the weight out of your hands. So for instance, if I'm, okay, let's say I want a deadlift and my hamstrings and glutes can lift. I'm throwing a number out there. I don't know the number. Let's say that according to my glutes and hamstrings, I can lift like 175 pounds, but my hands cannot hold 175 pounds. That's why you get straps like this or like the ones I'm about to show you so that it takes weight out of the hand and puts it into the strap. And then if you have a poor grip I have a very poor grip or I guess I have a very weak grip then this helps with that so with this one in particular I don't like these because they wrap around the barbell I wish I had a barbell here to show you okay let's pretend this baseball bat is a barbell right so if you're gonna lift this up you would use this to wrap it around the barbell and then technically if you see this strap is holding the weight not your hand your hand will do a little bit of work but a lot of the work goes into the strap the only reason I hate these ones Ones, which a lot of people like and I don't understand is that now that I have this hand wrapped Let's say that this was already on my wrist because obviously before you grab the weight They're gonna be on both your wrists You have to single hand like you can wrap this side with both your hands But then once you go to wrap the other side you have to do it with one hand like this hands already wrapped and strapped So you can't use it. So you have to like it's a pain Okay, so I need to get rid of these. These are not going back in my gym bag. The other straps that I wanted to try, which at the time seemed like a good idea, was these. You would think that this would work. So same concept, you need something to take the weight out of your hands. This one is a hook. It looks like it's gonna work and it fits right in your hand like this. So you, you would think that lifting the bar like this, it would be perfect and it would take the weight out of your hand, but I tried it and this did not, work well for the simple fact that this little hook isn't closed enough. The hook is like wide at the bottom, right? It's like a U shape, but it's wider at the 
bottom. That little bit of wideness makes the bar want to just fully fall out and you can't, this is too hard. You can't like press it closed while you're doing it or anything. They need to make this like closed off more. So once you have the bar in there, the bar is not going anywhere. Thought it was genius when I saw it. I was like, hell yeah, but hell no, it does not work. <laughs> so these I'm taking out of my gym bag. I need to donate these things or something. So I went back to my tried and true, which I was using these before I even purchased those, but then I left them on a machine in in Florida one day and they got stolen and I never rebought a new pair. And then I was looking for new pairs instead of getting what I liked and what I know works. I was trying all these other ones and it didn't work out. So if you're looking for grips like this, just get these, get Versa grips or Cobra grips. They're the same thing. These are Cobra grips. I get them on Amazon. They have different colors. And this one is so much easier, babes. This is a size small, but you can get different sizes if you need. But the reason I love these so much is there's two ways you can use them and they're both very helpful. So you can either use it like this hook one. So you can either put this rubber part in your hand like this and it helps you grip the bar a lot better or what i like to do if i'm lifting really heavy and i just need more security than that my hand strength is just non-existent so grip help or not i need like something to to grip it for me basically. Um, what I do is I put the barbell between the rubber part and my hand, and then I wrap it around this way, which I think a lot of people do it this way. So for instance, let me just show you. You just put your hand here, grab it, wrap it underneath your hand like this, and it see how it's, hopefully y'all can see that. See how it's around the bar and in my hand? It's super, super secure. Don't try all these other ones, they're ass. Just get Versa or Cobra grips they'll change your life. So I have these in my gym bag. Ugh, I talk so much. And then honestly, I think that's it right now, but I used to have, which I'm about to put back in, extra hair ties, because when your hair tie breaks and it's a leg day, you're screwed. I also used to have an extra pair of headphones. So if my AirPods stopped working or just died or like was acting funky, bobby pins and deodorant. Oh, and chapstick too. I don't know where all that stuff went. And tampons and panty liners, cause you never know. So I need to get those things to put in my bag. So let me go grab that really quick. Okay, I got the goods. An extra deodorant, chapstick. I got it from um, Amazing Lace. They sent it to me when they sent all this stuff. They gave me a cute little chapstick called Bitch Sticks. Love it and I've used it, it's really good. And then I have two extra hair ties, some tampons, regular and super. I have hair in between my fingers. <laughs> and then some little thong long panty liners. Cause sometimes like, I don't know about y'all, TMI. Me and my friends have talked about this. We think our insides are weird because do you ever put in a tampon, right? And then it's like, it goes around the tampon and out. It just like avoids the tampon sometimes. And you're just like, hello, this is the point of the tampon. Weird. Good on toiletries and such. As far as the headphones, I think, I think they're in my work bag. And that's it for what's in my gym bag. And I got my gym bag on Amazon. Now I'm going to do my what's in my gym bag TikTok really quick. Then I need to change and 1000% film the January favorites because we ain't got time. So. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> it's actually like two weeks later from this vlog that you're watching. It's Sunday, February 13th, 7 p.m. The Super Bowl's on downstairs. That's why I came up here really quick to film this, but I've been editing that vlog and I realized I never ended that vlog. So yeah, basically I'm a mess. So sorry if this vlog is weird. And the next vlog, I'm not even gonna lie, I was supposed to vlog majority or like my whole day today for the second part of the next vlog, which I also didn't do. So that vlog might be a little weird. That one I can still save. I can still save it this week if I if I do it right. But yeah, <laughs> sorry, but just came on to end the vlog and hopefully you guys are enjoying your Sunday. Thanks for watching this vlog. Please forgive me for it being weird and like not organized. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.